So I, I do I do want to revisit a story I had on a podcast before. Uh, mm-hmm. The podcast was the WPOB one that me and Dustin did. Uh, so I talk about an, a, a time in my life where... Uh, Simple. I would say it's probably the scariest thing that's ever happened to me. And now looking back on it, and, and when I revisit this story in my head, like right now, it's weird. See? Like I, it's so weird. Like when I revisit this story, I, I, it's like I get taken back to that time. And I can see everything clear as day. Like, it's so weird, dude. Like, most things that I'm remembering, I I don't get a, such a vivid memory. Like, you know what I mean? No, I guess you get the little shiver up your spine. Yeah. So when we were kids, we lived in Everett. Justin says he doesn't really remember the, the first part of the story. And who does? We were kids, right? Right. I remember because it's what led up to this next part. We were outside playing. I remember looking up in the sky. And I saw what I thought at the time, you know, when you're a kid, you're like, oh, you know, what did I see in the sky? It's like one of those playful things. Mm -hmm. I see what looked like a UFO, right? It's coming out of one. It looked like this. like It comes out of something and goes into (laughs) something else. (laughs) Okay. Okay. Like it comes out of this and then it's so fast. It's almost like portals, right? Okay. It was really cool. It was actually really cool. But as a kid, I'm like, oh, Justin, did you see that? We're playing outside. It's one of those things, right? And I remember telling my stepdad when I came in, I told him about it. He's like, oh, you probably just saw a plane. But I remember seeing it for like a good, like probably five minutes. It was just in the sky making these weird turns and like doing like really cool stuff, right? Okay. Um, So later that night, I go to bed. And in our Everett house, we have a bunk bed. Uh, We used to have bunk beds. (laughs) so, And right behind the bunk bed... And I'm hopefully I could put a picture up for this part of the video so that people can re- see what I'm talking about. But behind my headboard, there's a window. There's a pretty good big size window. Okay. And when you look out the window, it was on the first story of a house. So whoever's standing on the other side of the window can literally just stand and like talk to you. Oh, oh, so like it's ground level. Okay. Yeah. So there is no looking up at, the, at to talk to me. You're like ground level with my window and you can see in my room type shit. That is, I hate those videos. Yeah, well, now after that, you know. So right, I remember right. one night, it was that same night, we're going to bed, and I remember late at night, I wake up, and I hear, and I don't know how to explain this, bro. It wasn't like a knock. I don't even know if it was a knock. I remember laying in my bed, and you can just feel like a presence. You you can just tell that something's wrong. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know if you've ever felt that, but I remember sitting there, and I'm like, you know, I could tell something's wrong, and I, and there was something that told me to turn around. And when I turned around, it was just these two guys standing outside my window with, like, men in black suits on. And I know people are going to be like, oh, right? But this is before I even knew what the hell that was. Mm. Later on in life, I ended up going to school and researching and, and like reading UFO stuff. Did you ever see the movie Men in Black before that? I did, right? I did. I'll take that. But they're nothing like the whole uh, we're coming to abduct you look. Yeah, and, like, so the Men in Black in the movie... They, it's they, fun, they don't, right? Yeah, they don't give you... There's not one time they came up and somebody wanted to abduct these motherfuckers. They were annoyed. What's weird is in Men in Black, the people they meet are weirder than the than the men in black. Yeah, and like at least there's some comical element to it. Exactly. These guys were just like everything you read online, bro. It looked like they didn't have eyebrows. It, they, it looked like they had no hair. Their voices were very monotone. It's almost like they were wearing human skin. Fucking Agent Smith. You know, they had shades on the whole nine yards, bro. It was so weird. One of them didn't have shades on. And like his, you can just, his eyes looked dead. And I remember turning around and I, and I opened my window and they just start, I don't know. Nothing told me to, I just felt like this, like, it's so weird, bro. Now thinking about it, remember turn and I opened the window. They start talking to me about what I saw earlier that day. And I was, you know, they're like, oh, yeah, you just, you don't tell anybody what you saw. Don't ever bring it up. Don't ever bring it up. And I remember sitting there just hella scared. Have you ever had a dream about that since? No. And I, I, so I was actually scared to talk about it for a while. Okay. I think I told Justin, I don't even know how I, how I, so the crazy thing is on the side of my bunk bed, there's a dresser. Okay. After talking to them for, I don't even know how long I talked to them, bro. You open, I'm telling you right now, you open in that window was just. It was a mistake. It's, it's creepy white shit one on one. Well, as a kid, what am I do? The blinds are already up. I, 
can't shut the blinds on them. Shit. I mean, I probably should have ran to my mom. That's probably what I should have done. Was Justin in the same room? Yeah, he was in the bottom bunk. Justin, you would have been left. I would have so, sprinted. I would have told you as I'm halfway down that hallway, bro. Like, bye, 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 bye. <laughs> I'm sorry. They told me to promise them. Write it down. So I get off my bunk bed. I grab a piece of paper from my desk. I grab a pencil. I go back up to the bunk bed. And I write, I promise I won't say anything. And I leave. The, I show them. And I leave the paper down. Right? And... Like, it was weird because, like, there was two in front of the window. And then you could see, like, two on the the sidewalk where the road's at. And then it just looked like there was two, then two on the sidewalk, and then they looked like a car parked across the street. And when they left, it, they kind of, like, I don't even remember how they left. I just remember them being gone, basically. And then I pass out. I wake up. That paper is there, dude. The paper's there. I look at it. It has the words that I wrote on it from the night before. I crumble it up and I throw it. And I don't remember. I kind of, and I'm I'm not trying to be weird about it. I don't remember coming forward with the story. Maybe, man, I wish we would have kept that paper. I know. And, and it, I don't remember. I think it was like Damn middle it. school or high school. I ended up finally t coming to my mom like, hey, when we lived in Everett, like I had an encounter with people outside my window. Like it was one of those things. Like I was like. She didn't believe you, did she? Well, so it's not that people didn't believe me. I think Justin was probably the only person I ever told that story before I told anybody else. And, and it's mean, one of those things where it's like... It's not an easy thing to tell somebody. It's not. And like when it comes to me, like, I used to be like, hey, they told me not to mention that they were here. Like, so if I start telling people, are they going to come back to me? Are they going to hurt my family? Like, what is this? I mean, bro, I mean, maybe they got their hands full. It's 20, 2021. Well, why? Why? It, my thing is, why from? Why me? I was a little kid at the time. What was I gonna do that would jeopardize anything? Maybe they didn't seem real. Like it didn't seem human either. I mean, my my, my hey. main thing I can I can say is, of course, like the logical thing to be like, oh man, you probably just had like a really vivid dream and you slept well. Yeah, but. The issue is, is like, why would you vividly write something as you sleepwalk? And when I remember the story, it's not like a nightmare that I'm remembering. It's like right. very, very vivid. You you remember I told you where I used to live? Yeah, the told Tacoma you. place. The specific dreams there that did never felt like dreams. <laughs> never. Mm -hmm. Like, and I could always hear like weird voices. I uh, yeah, so I. I can't say, you know what I'm saying? Like, I have, I just don't know what to say. Like, I'm already on a different yeah, I know. pathway of the <laughs> weird. So, yeah, bro, bro. Uh, I remember re researching about it and just thinking to myself, like, fuck, so many people went through what I w went through. What I went through. So many people had this experience. So many people, like, vividly remember seeing them and, like, just being threatened by them in their house. I remember reading a story where a guy was at the top of his stairs because he heard someone come through the back door. He looks at the bottom of the stairs and there's somebody that's done that description at the bottom. Like, it's just one of those things like, what, bro? Like, it's weird, man. Yeah, my not, bad. I didn't mean to your foot. Like a, not deja vu, but like, <sighs> like, an, like, like on. I don't know. Like, that, that story has always been way weirder than crop circles to me. The men in black? Yeah. It's always way weirder than crop circles. They're the, not like, They're the goons. They're the government goons, bro. <laughs> right? And if shit, I believe in them. So it's like, I already like, ugh. But I don't know, man. I'll tell you right now, bro. I say, uh, if it's still bothering you, it might not be any harm in at least keep looking. I'm going to keep keeps, looking out there. If it keeps bringing, you know, mm -hmm. if you feel it, no one tell you nothing you're uncomfortable with. Because that's a, it's a weird slope, my friend.